Hey guys, Buddy Love here, and I'm here to bring you a player review. And this week I'll be doing Christian Benteke from Aston Villa. Each week I'll select a player from the team of the week and make a review. Now let's get straight into the video with some in game stats. As you can see, Benteke is an all round tank when it comes to his in game stats. The highlights being his great strength, his great shooting, and dominant aggression. Yes, he does have great heading stats, but I feel as though heading is isn't as much of a factor in this FIFA as it was in past ones. So, I can't really take that into account, although they are unreal stats. And I noticed that in the middle of the park he did with a lot of headers. And when you look now, he's got 4 star weak foot as well, which is great. Now let's talk about his attributes. Pace. To be honest, I didn't really expect much when it came to pace. But I guess where he lacks in pace, he makes it up in strength. If he was in front of certain defenders, he could outrun them. But I wouldn't even try to get into a running race with Sergio Ramos or Jerome Boateng because you knew you were always going to lose. His shooting was was pretty good. I'm not going to lie, he was pretty clinical in front of goal. Only issue I had with him had to be his finesse shots, which were awful. But as a poacher, his shots always seemed to be inside the box anyway, so it didn't really matter that much. His positioning had to be one of the best attributes about him. He always seemed to be in the right spot or the right place. Especially because of the way I play with pacey wingers, it's good to have someone in the box who, who I can always cut it back to and know he'll be there. Now his dribbling. The dribbling, on my opinion, is about as much as you would expect from a player who's 6'3 and has 97 strength. He doesn't have the best turning curve, but his strength allows him to kind of push through away from defenders while he's kind of turning. So... It does kind of help. Now he's defending. This wasn't really um, analyzed, but in saying that, he didn't waste his energy to come back and defend, which I loved because he could conserve energy for when the team was on the attack. Now he's physical. In terms of physical stats, Benteke had it all. When it came to his strength, he could overpower players, and when it came to winning the ball back, his high aggression made it very easy to steal the ball off defenders in good position and be able to finish right there on the spot. Now his passing. This is probably a stat that really, really surprised me, because his assist count was actually really high, whether it be a through ball along the ground or a through ball through the air. He tended to find my players rushing through close to pretty much every time. As my lone striker, being able to pass and have good creativity is a massive plus. That ensures that when my left or right wingers are making runs, they can be picked out. Now on to his pros and cons. His pros had to be that he was quite pacey, he had decent dribbling, good positioning, and 4 star weak foot. And who can forget that massive strength. And the cons, his fitness levels kind of sucked, his finesse shots were bad, and only 3 star skills, which... For a lot of people, is a big no-no. But overall, I'm going to give Benteke a 8 out of 10. So that's my second informed Benteke review. Um, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And stay classy. Thank you.